when he put through. Was it uh, was it CT? No, it was he was doing it on standing and oh, we did three the images and then merged them together. Okay, yeah. great. Okay, got it. So did it look something like this? <clears throat> no. <laughs> okay, so was it the whole leg? Oh seat? yeah. The whole leg was seen. Okay. Um, and that and that's good. A newer the using the newer technique. Have you seen them? It, correct me if I'm wrong, because this is not what I'm used to. I'm used to this. Um, it's the one that they do like for the scoliosis, right? Yeah. Where they scan. Have you seen them do that? Oh, beautiful. Um, it's so awesome with the technology and stuff. So is it the same thing that they did for the lower yeah. leg? Okay, so they scanned um, with the ruler and stitched the images together, yeah. right? Okay. We have a se full separate computer it's called the Leonardo. <laughs> and then they go and stitch all the pictures together and then send them back to pass. Okay, so what do you use that one for? Just to merge, merge the... So the scoliosis yeah. and mm -hmm. the orthorynchonography? Do, yeah. do you call it orthorynchonography? What, did, mm, no. what does it say on the rack? Long bone? Yeah, long bone. Okay, long bone um, routine, yes. <laughs> Orthorynchonography, it's like, what? <laughs> okay, so what are some indications for having this type of exam done? Um, and usually it's because one leg or the other is longer, one shorter than the other, for whatever reason. Um, and, and having that situation, for whatever reason, can, in an adult can cause um, back pain. In children, it's a problem because of the developmental growth and not you know, knowing how, if it's gonna get worse or not. And so this can be corrected. This is amazing too. Um, know this word, epiphysiodesis, premature fusion of the epiphysis. So do you remember what the epiphysis is? We're gonna do pediatric radiography when we come up with these. Um, there's the diaphysis, which is the Long bone or the primary center of ossification, and then um, it's a separation between the two. And then the uh, epiphysis is the separation between that and the secondary. Um, it's your growth plate. Yes, it's your growth plate. Very good. So um, when that ossifies prematurely, then um, it retards the um, growth of the leg, and so it can be corrected. So I've seen a couple of cases on this, but um, they can lengthen the leg that is shorter. So what they do is they go in there and break the femur. And, and in this case, they break the femur and then put these, these are um, screws that are going into the bone and there's a brace that is on the outside. There is the, the metal part, this part is on the outside of it tissue and so what they do is break it and then the bone will grow back together now I'm looking at this and I think I don't know if this is magnified or what that just seems like a lot of space in between for the bone to be able to grow back together you know but it's just like a fracture what happens when when you have a fracture and you put the pieces back together, what happens? You get that bone growth, you get the callus formation on the bone, so bone does grow. So they're hoping, what they do is they separate it slightly, should be slightly, and they wait for this to grow yeah. and, and, and fill in. So, um, so that's something that can be done. <clears throat> so both uh, limbs are imaged for comparison, and the type of ruler that we use is, in, is, does that look familiar? Did you have to tape it onto the? Yeah, it goes onto the, there's a little standing mechanism that they stand on and put our markers on there and the ruler right behind it. Okay, um, it, it's called a Bell Thompson ruler. So if you were to be asked that question on my test or the ART exam, it's a Bell Thompson ruler. It's a metal ruler that's used. Um, it's, it's very long and um, um, I'll show, you'll see it in the images that we use. Um, if one leg is a lot longer than the other, then you need to image each leg separately. A lot of times you can image both legs bilaterally at the same time, but um, the question is, if one lower limb is one inch difference or more than the other, then you do each leg separately. 
And then just like your lower extremity, 70 to 80 kV, we are using um, the Bucky um, on all three images. Um, and then <clears throat> using a 14 by 17, three views, or use your machine that stitches these mm -hmm. together. Um, shielding plus collimation, and then of course no movement. So just the normal stuff as any, for any procedure. So my question to you on your test next week on the lower limb, what images are we taking? Okay, so it's going to be the hip, the knee, and the ankle joint. So we're looking at the joints of the lower limb. Okay, the upper limb can be done. That cannot be done bilaterally. I mean, uh, yeah, bilaterally. It has to be unilaterally. One limb at a time is done. So that's another option. I have not seen that one done. So I think um, this is, if there's um, a discrepancy that is felt between the, you know, the two arms, and they can do it for the upper limb also. So again, it would be the joints of the upper extremity, shoulder, elbow. And so this is what it looks like, um, and this is, um, this reading assignment is out of your bond trader book, okay, your positioning book. <clears throat> so again, this is showing bilateral, so you're doing both of these at the same time, 14 by 17 crosswise or um, opening up your collimation to include um, both ankles, both knees, and both hips at the same time. They tape the toes together because um, we don't want any variation from one image to the next on the rotation of the feet. So they take them together so that they um, hold still. If they're standing, then you wouldn't need to do that. I would think if you're standing um, and having the stand done, this is laying down, but if you're standing, you wanna make sure they're not you know, on one hip or the other. They need to have their weight equally distributed on both legs. Um, anything else, Mr. James, that you can any instructions? Were those instructions given? They were just to stand up there? Yeah, hold still. stand up straight. You know, it, it was an older gentleman. He was going through, I guess, the, the diagnosis was building in orthotics, so they wanted to see how his hips were as far as, and, and how his legs were. Right, I would think if you're building or, or getting an orthotics, you want to make sure it's the same length so that they're not, oh gosh, can you imagine having an orthotic and then um, it being a little bit shorter than the other leg, and then that's going to make that person develop back problems for sure. So they want to make sure it's the same, the appropriate length, so that makes sense. Um, here's the kind of looking down the length of the leg, and you're centering, you know, it's kind of unusual, usually you're centering to the middle of a body part, but in this particular picture, since you're doing bilaterals, you're centering down, just down the midline of the body. And then, and then there's different ways to measure. Um, the computer can certainly take measurements, or the radiologist. Now, the ruler is not seen through here. Usually, the ruler is placed down the middle of the between the two legs. Where was the ruler? Is that where it was placed? Okay, down the, the middle. So, uh, a couple of things the doctor can do is they can take a measurement from the um, femoral head, the tip of the femoral head, to the midpoint of the knee to the midpoint of the ankle, or they can just take a measurement from the hip all the way down to the ankle. So this is probably what it was done on yours that you did, Mr. James. They probably did it throughout the whole length. Mm -hmm. And um, so a couple different ways. That would be the direct measurement going from the top all the way down to the bottom. And so that's what they're doing. They're just getting measurements so and comparing one to the other. So it's very important in your positioning to take your time a little bit in your setup. The, the imaging part is not hard. The setup is critical. And then this is for the upper arm. And you can see the ruler there, the marker, and um, in the AP position. And again, you're looking at shoulder, elbow and wrist and with the numbers there they can determine you do one arm and then do the other okay and the radiologist can determine if there's any discrepancy in the arm length from one side to the other and you don't have the ruler um doesn't have to be in any certain position other than it needs to be outside of the body remember it is a metal ruler so don't let it get underneath the skin for overlap purposes. So it needs to be off to the side. 
um, and it needs to encompass all the way down to the wrist. So you can see it's pretty long, and it doesn't matter. It's not like the top of the ruler has to be at the top of the shoulder, but it does need to encompass from the shoulder to the wrist. It doesn't, you know, as long as it's covering that area, the doctor can work the numbers. And then here's a CT scanogram where this is done in CT, not in the department, and they, um, we can do this with CT. We take a scalp image before we start doing the slices. This is doing the legs without the slices. So again, um, then they use the calipers on the computer to measure from the top of the femur to the ankle, and then it'll read out, I think it's here, read out um, the distance between the two. Now, why would you do regular imaging versus CT? Less radiation. Less radiation, typically CT always has more radiation than everything else. So, um, less exposure. Um, and what is this right here in the middle? Shield. Yeah. If it's a pediatric patient, that's probably not what you'd want to do. You'd want to use the Bell Thompson ruler for that and do the regular long bone study. So it all, all depends on the person too. Um, has anyone else seen one of these besides Mr. James? What was, what was your experience with it? Is it the same thing standing up and scanning mm -hmm. through? Mm -hmm. And were they adults or a pediatric patient or do you remember? I, I didn't remember girls really young, actually. Um, I don't know why she was there, but it was like she came in with socks on and even that she was like, no, take off your socks. Interesting, not even socks. Mm -hmm. So not anything that could even give the least little bit of discrepancy. Interesting. Um, and, and they stood up, right? And you did the machine. How long did that take? Not yeah, just real quick. We'll, okay. Okay, that's that. That's that um, lecture. Don't you wish they were all like that?